Think you know Adobe Express? Think again. Today, I'm gonna to show you four hidden features that will seriously blow your mind and speed up your workflow. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're gonna look at is the Gen Expand when you want to make any sort of image bigger in Express. You're gonna to go to the Resize option and then choose how much bigger you want this image gonna be. I'm gonna go ahead and choose video, but make sure you check the Expand Image box and then let Adobe do its magic. And as you can see right here, what's happening is it is going to give you options on how to gen expand, just like in Photoshop, your image frame. So now you can take this from an Instagram post all the way to something even nicer, like a YouTube thumbnail or video clip. Now you just hit keep and you're good to go and you have your resized image. For our next clip, we're gonna go ahead and remove the background. So we're gonna go ahead and try to download, but you can see we do not have a transparency option. This is easy. Go to background color and choose the one with the red stripe and that will remove your background. Now you can scale this up and if you want to put this on a slideshow or something, you can now hit download and you're going to have that transparency option ready to go. Hit download and work with it and use it in the way that you wish. Have you ever wanted to add more creative flair to your PowerPoint slides? Well, you can just go to the upload media in Adobe Express and then navigate to your PowerPoint document and select any PPTX or PPT document and let Adobe Express convert this to an Express file. This way, all your presentations will be online and you'll be able to add more creative flair to those presentations using the tools in Express. Here's an example of a slideshow I updated and I wanna change this text just a little bit. I'm not too fond of that background color. So I'm gonna go through and delete some of the white background elements as you can see. So just kind of moving things out of the way and all of my background image as well as my stock photos from that PowerPoint slide are there and ready to go. Here I'm gonna use the selection tool and I'm gonna go through and grab a little bit of the effects and we're going to look at maybe adding a backdrop. Let's change that color to white and play with the shape size just to get it a little more visual emphasis. That's looking really nice. And I'm gonna change that to white like I mentioned. Awesome, this looks really great. And there you have it. The other things I can do is things like center align my text and I can go through each slide and let's say I wanna update this image. Well now I have access to all of the Adobe Express, Adobe stock images. So I'll type the word disclaimer, doing my best to spell it correctly. And now I have many more creative options to use to update that slide to add more visual intrigue. Now here's a instance where the conversion didn't bring in the text the way I wanted it. So I'm gonna double click on the word portfolio and just make sure it's all within the same text box. There we go, so let's just go ahead and paste that in. And then I wanna use my favorite tool in Express, dynamic text, so let's make this dynamic. It's going to balance that text way better than I could in any slide builder, which I think looks awesome. And this icon's a bit blurry, so let's go ahead and replace it with another design asset. I'll go through and select a briefcase, and you can see I have a ton of different briefcase icons I can use. I'm gonna choose that one right there, and I'm gonna adjust the crop a little bit just so I can see the entire briefcase, and then just nudge it into place, which really gives my slide uh, a nice kind of facelift. For our final step, we're gonna convert a raster graphic to a vector graphic. And I know what you're thinking, does Adobe Express do vector? Kind of. So I'm gonna to go to the quick action and use the convert to SVG option. And I'm gonna enter this water droplet icon that I really love. And it's gonna take a few moments, but it's going to take that raster image that is pixels and convert it to a SVG vector format. I'm gonna then hop over to Adobe Illustrator, open that file up and check this out, y'all. We now have a fully vectorized format for scalability. We can change the colors, we can adjust. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed these tips and follow me for more.